Good day, everyone. My name is Joe Wetstead, Director of Client Services for Accesso Showware. I want to thank you for joining us for today's webinar, The Latest Innovations in Sports Arena Ticketing. I'm joined today by Missy Allnut. Missy is a sales engineer joining us from Liverpool, New York. Today's webinar will provide you with an understanding of Accesso Showware's offering related to our sports and arena functionality. If you have questions during the webinar, please use the question box in your GoToMeeting console, and our webinar, organizer, our webinar organizer, Val, will collect them. We'll address all questions following the presentation. At Accesso, we believe technology has the power to redefine the fan experience. Everything we do starts with thinking about the fan experience first, which allows us to help simplify operations, improve fan satisfaction, and most importantly, drive growth for our clients. Our product team is always looking for ways to help you build loyal fans, as well as help your organization achieve its operational goals. An event at your venue is a great opportunity to forge a deeper relationship with that fan. You want them to have a great experience. You want them to talk about what a great time they had at your arena. And it all starts with the purchase of a ticket, or maybe a subscription, or even a family pack. A little background first on Accesso. Being we're publicly traded, we released our financials a couple months back, and so I thought I'd provide a quick State of the Union. We're one of the largest providers in the world. Across our platforms, we're servicing a thousand plus venues in 27 countries. And as a publicly traded company on the London Stock Exchange, we earned 103 million in revenue in 2016 for our investors. That's an increase of 10% year over year. What you should take away from this overall is security and reliability. Accesso is a large ticketing company, and we have a significant footprint in ticketing. We're not an organization that'll disappear tomorrow or next year. We have the right experience for the right industry, supporting operations from theme parks to water parks and zoos to live entertainment events and venues just like yours. As a measure of our progress as a company, Accesso was able to invest about 18 million back into our R&D across its platforms in 2016. That's equal to some of our competitors' entire annual revenues, and it's a huge point of differentiation. We invest heavily in our products because our industry demands it, because our clients benefit from it, and because it makes a positive difference in the fan experience. You can rest assured that with Accesso, your software will never be frozen in time, as innovation is core to our business and our partnerships. From theme parks to concerts, zoos to festivals, sporting events, our products and services support some of the top attractions in the world, whether it be food and beverage point of sale, virtual line reservations, ticketing or guest management, our solutions help streamline and simplify operations for a wide variety of venues. Our solutions solve problems and enhance the fan experience at every touch point during the fan journey. Everything we do helps our clients focus on what they do best, providing outstanding experiences for fans, while we provide technology that readily supports our clients' efforts to drive revenue. Our Accesso Showware solution offers powerful and innovative software to help you sell more tickets, and is especially well-suited to reserve seating venues, such as sporting arenas. Let's explore this solution in a bit more detail. The Accesso Showware solution is a software as a service, or commonly referred to as a SaaS solution. With solutions for box office, kiosk, online, mobile, call center, and social media sales, the Accesso Shower solution enables venues to easily control their operations, set fees, and increase overall profitability. First and foremost, the Accesso Shower solution is a reserved seat ticketing tool, allowing you to create custom seat maps to support real-time ticket sales across your box office and online stores and always with white label branding. Your storefront is fully customizable and always is in brand, your brand. 
we serve about 600 clients worldwide worldwide on the Accesso Showware platform, and we've highlighted a few of our sports and arena clients on this slide. Whether your arena hosts an annual PBR road, road, road like the Washington State Fair, or as a Premier Division soccer club in Mexico, or a successful top 25 bowl game at Navy Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland, Accesso Showware is, has demonstrated its ability to service these high volume venues. Accesso Showware is a cloud-based software as a service model that supports on-site and e-commerce ticketing solutions always in real time and across a single database. As a hosted system, Accesso Showware takes on the responsibility for uptime, backups, redundancy, security, and of course, compliancy of the system. The platform is PCI level one certified and we've always approached security a bit differently than our competitors, engineering right from the start with, again, independent secure databases. So let's talk briefly about some of our e-commerce features. Reserve seating, again, best in class, customizable seat mapping. Uh, we're cloud-based, accessible from any device, anytime. Updates available immediately and never a need to download or install software on your machine. Private label or white label, we believe your messaging and branding should be the messaging communicated to your fans, no other logos or events, uh, just you and your brand. We're fully secured, uh, insane encryption, privately hosted, real people monitoring your, monitoring your system, and of course, as mentioned, PCI level one compliant. Really great responsive design, same great experience, whatever device you access the system from. Mobile, mobile ticketing from mobile scanning for access control to Apple wallet integration, Accesso Showware is mobile ready. Gift card and payment solutions, flexible purchasing options with gift card and at point of sale makes it easy and possible for your patrons to purchase online with a gift card. Bundles and packaging are flexible and customizable to move the product that you want when you want to move it. Let's drill down a bit deeper on responsive design and why it's paramount in today's e-commerce markets. A stunning graphic here illustrates what we've experienced from the mobile channel as a percentage of online sales. From just 3% a short five years ago to nearly half of all online transactions taking place on a mobile device in 2016. And it's going to continue to trend up. This slide makes it obvious why. These things are never out of our hands. Nine out of 10 people always have their phones within reach. 30% of all e-commerce is happening on the mobile channel because there are 20 billion smartphone devices out there. It's an important channel, you already recognize this, and it's an opportunity for convening, converting more people when they're in a buying mode. Immediacy is paramount in keeping pace. And one more point about mobile, it's got to be easy. Consumers want the experience to be fast and easy, or they will abandon the, the cart, the sale. That means fast load times, simple navigation, and simple features like guest checkout as well. Again, our solution is fully responsive designed in its platform. Um, responsive design, again, means that no matter what device you're using, the system automatically responds with the correct screen size. You don't lose any functionality. You can still use coupons, access discounts, select your own seats in a mobile view. Responsive design means the application works the same no matter the form factor accessing the application. And responsive design never means you need to download an app. Very important. Now let's talk about on-site. We believe in-house control is key. We want your messaging to be front and center and to give you the tools to shape the fan experience that you want. 
Again, with complete control over the content, your brand and messaging takes center stage and does not have to compete with anything else. Our platform offers the ability to provide you with technology that can offer new revenue opportunities with customizable memberships and VIP packages. We offer a variety of access control methods, including brand new mobile scanning options. Our software offers robust analytics with hundreds of different reports at your fingertips to give you better insight into your fans. We're also EMV compliant. As fraud continues to be a major concern in technology, we don't think there's such a thing as too secure. That's why we make it a point to have the most secure payment options available for our venues. Our platform is robust. It's high volume and has stood up to some of the most demanding on sales in the industry. You can rest assured that with four nines of uptime and repeated experience managing high volume on sales that the Accesso Showware platform will be up and running serving your fans even during the most demanding times. We have excellent call center support. Most of our sports and arena clients make use of the Showware call center services. The call center is really an extension of your box office and provides phone sales from 10 a.m. Eastern to 11 p.m. Eastern or 7 a.m. Pacific to 8 p.m. Pacific. The call center has the ability to be white labeled and agents know in advance of answering where the call is coming from and screen pops the back end of the proper ticketing site. The call center follows your unique business rules and provides great support for your customers. The call center works on a fee per sales basis and is 100% patron funded. This results in no cost to the venue. Let's talk about a few more key differentiators with the Accesso Showware platform. It's an integrated platform, and this means one system for tickets, reports, CRM, no more jumping from spreadsheets to emails to the web. The system provides a one-stop shop for all your needs. It's, again, fully customizable so that you get the look and feel that you want. Our customers rave about our support. And so if it's a simple question or a complex technical need, Accesso Showware will be there 24-7. At Accesso, we put partnership before provider. Our model is set up such that the only way we win is if you win. We aggressively reinvest in our product, as we talked about earlier, and release new features and functionality that keep us and you ahead of the competition. Cross-sell and upsell opportunities will create brand new revenue streams for your organization and provide greater customer satisfaction. Everything we do helps you highlight your brand, your voice, your products, and your sponsors. And finally, dynamic pricing tools will allow you to maximize revenue and attendance. And Missy's going to do a deep dive um, on this during our demo. And we're going to talk a little bit more about it here. I'd like to take just a couple minutes and highlight dynamic pricing. With Accesso Showware's inventory-based dynamic pricing, organizations can quickly and easily set up price changes to take effect automatically when the venue reaches certain set inventory thresholds. Inventory is automatically monitored and you can easily schedule one or more automatic price changes. Percentages and number of tickets remaining are calculated against the total inventory and automatically deploy the price change the moment your inventory hits that threshold. This is a real game changer for organizations who are doing this manually, or worse, not at all, and really missing out on basic supply and demand principles that it will increase your bottom line. Some of the benefits organizations are realizing with the new Accesso Showware dynamic pricing feature are capitalizing on increased demand, um, encouraging purchases during periods of low demand, and incentivizing season ticket sales, so incentivizing advanced sales. A quick case study uh, this on the San Francisco Giants and implementing uh, dynamic pricing. The San Francisco Giants presented an interesting case study on dynamic pricing. In the beginning, their journey was not fully integrated and not easy to use. 
the San Francisco Giants partnered with a company called QQ to work on their dynamic pricing initiative, but ran into some early pitfalls with a rigid, rigid ticketing system. In 2012 interview with Forbes, Mr. Khan mentions that in addition to emotional concerns about alienating fans, rigid ticketing systems were the second reason why the sports industry was slow to adopt dynamic pricing models. And I want to stress again that Accesso Showware has solved for this with a fully integrated dynamic pricing tool. Ultimately, the San Francisco Giants were able to work through their technical details and become one of the notable success stories from the live entertainment industry. They became the first professional sports fan franchise to incorporate dynamic pricing in 2009 and were able to increase revenue 7 million in 2010. In the three years following the Giants, success. These strategies have been adopted by a number of professional sports teams in Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, National Basketball Association, and Major League Soccer. Today they're used by many sports organizations and many of the organizations using this experience a 30% revenue lift in high demand situations and a 5 to 10% revenue increase in low demand situations. So these teams also see fans buying tickets earlier in the cycle. Uh, in 2010, the Oakland A's did not sell out any games in advance, but did sell out four times the following year, again implementing dynamic pricing strategies. And many more industries are aware of dynamic pricing and customers are becoming aware that these things happen and it's gaining social acceptance. And we're seeing this across many different sectors and industries that we serve. Uh, you know, from theater to, to sports to live entertainment. And uh, with that, I'm going to hand things over to Missy to drive our live demo portion of the webinar. Awesome. Thank you very much, Joe. And thank you to everybody that's joining in our webinar today. Um, Joe mentioned it several times, and I'll mention it again one more time. It's all about your fans' experience um, and how we at Accesso Showware can help you um, ultimately drive growth through that fan experience. So let's start on the back end of the Accesso Showware platform and talk about the different pieces and parts that Joe has, has discussed uh, that can help through your implementation uh, create and drive that revenue. So in our back end, um, we'll first look underneath events. Events and the event build is where you would first start that experience through our content management tools um, and adding and having the ability to add images and descriptions to be able to add YouTube videos and any other content. This is where you would start that fan experience because on your page, this is where they're going to start seeing that transaction. So under our general settings, is where we determine where to prioritize our particular um, event or game. Under our landing page layout, we provide many other areas for additional content that can be added. And again, whether that be YouTube videos, more imagery, uh, more descriptions, maybe pricing if it's a game. And then under access restrictions, allows the ability to be able to uh, restrict down at the event level um, maybe some passworded type pre-sales or passworded sales completely but you'll see uh, when we get to the performance level that you have some more functionality and features to be able to utilize it there as well once your event has been built that's when you're going to be creating your games or your performances um, underneath that event so let's go ahead and we're going to take a quick look at our hockey series. And I'm just going to pull my July 12th hockey game. Underneath our general settings um, is where you would create just your basic name of your game or of your event or your performance, as well as your start time and end time. And more importantly, when this particular, in this case, game is going to go on sale. 
Joe talked a little bit about delivery methods, whether it be mobile delivery, because we are completely responsive design and have the ability to be able to scan utilizing uh, your smartphone or utilizing printed home and our HTML tools. You have the ability to set that up again at that game level. So under the Apple Wallet settings, uh, we are integrated with Apple Wallet, allowing your patrons the ability to put their tickets into their Apple Wallet. And then as they're approaching your arena, those tickets then based on a geolocator would populate into their smartphone um, and then be able to be scanned into the arena. But the Apple Wallet settings, again, at their performance or at that uh, game level, is completely customized by you. So each one of these uh, mobile tickets or Apple Wallet tickets can have a different look and feel. So if you, as in my case, have hockey, you can incorporate hockey imagery. If you're using your arena for concerts, you can incorporate that information as well. Joe talked a little bit about sponsorships. You can certainly add um, logos of sponsors to be able to thank them uh, for their um, uh, backing you in your endeavors. We talked a little bit about printed home, and again, this is an HTML format. So you have the ability to add images. Uh, you have two more sets of um, image place placements that you have. Maybe it's pictures like I've got, maybe it's parking information, maybe it's direction information. Again, it could be sponsor information, or maybe you're working with an outside organization, or maybe even a restaurant uh, that might be offering a special deal to any one of your fans. The printed home message also offers an HTML section where you can provide more information about this particular game or performance. Now we're going to switch over to our pricing tab. And there's several different things that can be incorporated during the pricing tab. Joe talked a little bit about dynamic pricing and how that's changed so many arenas and so many different ball clubs around um, the states, um, helping them to create that supply and demand. So we have included dynamic pricing within our solution, which is located again under the pricing tab and under maintain automatic price changes. We offer two ways to be able to do your automatic price changes. One is through date. So I could say that on 7-7 or tomorrow that I can incorporate a special or a new price change. Keep in mind that I am on a specific section. So when you are creating those dynamic prices, you can create it for just a section. So if you know that you want to have a certain price section uh, move up or down, again, based on inventory, uh, you can do that in any one of your sections or all of your sections. And as I said, you can do it by date or you can do it by inventory. And this is a threshold and this, is, this threshold is set up at a sold level. So you can see that each one of our thresholds is set up at a 5% increment. And you can create one or more different dynamic price changes. Um, the system will automatically monitor uh, your sales, and when it reaches that particular threshold, it will totally invoke whatever status or whatever pending dynamic price change is due to change. So at 40%, I have one set up, and then I've got another one set up at 75%. Um, like Joe said, go up or down in pricing. If you um, have a certain section that really sells well, uh, you can train your fans by um, by having a certain price point at the beginning and then uh, during different thresholds, you can continually raise those. And what that's gonna do is it's going to train those fans and those, those guests to buy early, knowing that they're gonna get a better price point. So again, these are automatic, set it and forget it, um, because the system will take care of it for you. Certainly, you have the ability to be able to delete these if you want to, um, or if you find the point where you want to execute them earlier than you had previously thought, you have the ability to be able to execute what you've already set into place um, whenever you want to be able to do that. Also under our pricing, and again, also under the um, pricing code or pricing section, is 
are price code restrictions. Price code restrictions, um, AKA coupons. Um, I have a coupon set up. It's a $5 off coupon. You can set up a, an expiration date. So if you're working with somebody um, for a particular coupon, uh, you can maybe this is just a one week coupon, that's it. And then at the end of that week, that coupon will completely disable and no longer be valid uh, for any of your, of your fans that are trying to utilize it um, either in your box office sale or, or online. So you can set up all one code or multiple, co um, multiple codes. And then up here, you're going to see issuer. Issuer is kind of a cool tool because you have the ability on the back end to run reports to find out if you want to utilize that specific coupon. So my scenario is maybe you're working with a couple different radio stations and you have the radio station name as your issuer. Our backend reporting will allow you to see how many coupons were redeemed under that particular issuer. And again, it's a great marketing tool. It's a great way to understand whether or not you want to utilize that coupon and even better yet, whether you want to utilize that coupon with that particular radio station or issuer. Another nice thing to remember too, is that if you've uh, forgotten maybe to create that coupon and you've already set up your entire season and that coupon is going to run across all of your games, um, or across all of your performances, you have the ability to apply that coupon to the event and you don't have to go into each one of the performances to do that. Another really nice handy tool at the coupon level is the ability to be able to set up availability limits. I'm again still under my pricing and if I scooch down to the very bottom, you're going to see pricing code purchase limits. What this allows you to do is to set up different limits for those different coupons. So if I wanted to, I would have the ability to set up a particular limit for this $5 off. And again, this is under my one section, which in my, my world is called glass. Um, I'm only going to set it up for the one section or I can set it up for all sections. And I can say I'm only going to allow 15. 15 of these coupons are going to be allowed to be used underneath this one particular section. Another thing you have the ability to be able to do is to set up patron purchase limits. Patron purchase limits will, um, again, not allow a patron to buy more than what you have set up that limit to be. So in my case too, I'm online, I buy two $5 off tickets, I try and go back in a few days later to buy a couple more for friends, it's going to recognize my email and will not allow me to be able to utilize it. So again, this is a great way to uh, be able to keep that inventory with you and keep those price points where you want to keep them versus having um, a lot of uh, $5 or whatever the coupons are out there. Under our access restrictions tab, we talked a little bit about access restrictions under events. Access restrictions will allow you under the um, game or under the performance level is to restrict even further just to that one particular game. In my case, you can see you've got the ability to do access restrictions at a credit card type level or even at a password only level. So if you're working with American Express, or if you're working with Visa or Discover, or any one of those other major credit card names, you have the ability to set up those pre-sales, those Amex or Visa card pre-sales, where your fans can only use that given card to be able to purchase tickets early during that pre-sale period. In my scenario, I've got a credit card restriction set at the Visa level. Then it allows you to be able to set up a restriction period. It's going to assume that you're going to match the performance sale period, but we all know that usually it's only a small amount of time, whether that's a couple of days or even up to a week. So you can set up a specific restricted period. And then you also have the ability to set up a restriction message. And this message will follow from that online sale all the way through to the end, uh, providing this message to your fans letting them know that you know this is a particular type of sale and unless they're going to use in my case a visa credit card to pay for those tickets they're not going to be able to be utilizing it under our marketing tab we've got a couple pieces of functionality 
One is a scheduled message or, or what we call a triggered message. A triggered message can be sent either before or after a performance um, at the performance level and be able to provide additional information. Now, in my case, I've got it set, I think it's three days prior, just letting them know that we're looking forward to seeing you at this certain time on this certain date for a game. You could send it up for a two or three days after a particular game saying, hey, how did you like it? You know, maybe you want to become a season ticket holder. So again, utilizing triggered messages, email messages, um, super simple because you're setting it again, you're going to forget it because when that time comes, whether it's before or after, it's going to automatically trigger that message and those messages are going to be sent to everybody that's purchased a ticket. Another element under our marketing tab is what we call um, an upsell um, or a call out. Um, my case is called a call out, but this is an alias. So certainly you can use it whatever you want, whether it's an upsell. And my message is HTML format. So in my case, I wrote, make it short, make it a short walk to the arena by purchasing VIP tickets now. I can put it in action link, which in my case is buy now, or maybe it's learn more because maybe you're maybe you're trying to trigger more season ticket holders. And you know, maybe it's learn more about being a season ticket holder. And then your product or whatever that event is built on the back end of the solution uh, to be able to um, upsell or cross sell to. Uh, you also have the ability to, by unchecking this add cross sell item, by doing that, it's just going to make it a message. It's not going to make it an upsell whatsoever, but maybe it's just more information about that particular game. Maybe it's bobblehead day or whatever the case is. Um, but you have the ability to just give them, give your patrons another, um, another message, or like I said, have the ability to be able to add that cross sell. So if I go back and add my VIP parking and then save it, we will have an upsell or a cross sell. Again, on the back end, let's talk a little bit under our marketing tab. Um, maybe about a year ago or so, we integrated with an email marketing tool called Emma. Um, Emma is completely integrated within our solution. Um, but what it's going to do is provide you the ability through a template to create email marketing um, solicitations or marketing campaigns to segmented lists based off of your database that's located within the solution. I did a, just a really quick mock-up of one just to show you what, how quickly and how easily it is to set up this thing. So we've got general settings tab you're going to create a campaign name, name. So that's going to be that inside name. And your from email address is going to be obviously your arena's address, a subject. And then you have the ability to create or in, um, put in a header image if you want to or not. You've got your header message, and then you've got footer message, and then you've got your send date. So you're going to create a very quick templated email with a send date. Under our promoted items, all you're doing is adding different games or events or performances that you want to be able to send this campaign about. In my case, I've got all my upcoming games. My patron segments is the ability to be able to send to all of my patrons, all of my fans within my database, or I have the ability to create new segments. So you can create segments based off of uh, several different fields, whether that be patron classification fields, and that's who who is that fan to you. Um, if I'm only interested in anybody that's purchased for a specific event or purchased within specific pricing code groups, so I'm only interested in targeting my adult, or I'm only interested in targeting children because I've got Dory coming in um, to my arena next summer, and I want to be able to, you know, solicit and and um, and reach out to the parents of those children. So you can create multiple segments, and then you can add those different segments to those particular email campaigns. Under the management is basically the ability to be able to preview what you've already created. I can publish it by sending it out automatically or. If I've decided that I don't want to do this anymore, I have the ability to delete it. 
But if I do a quick preview, and again, this is just a really quick thing. We have, you know, cool off this summer by coming to the rink and to enjoy a hockey game or concert. So um, you've got all of your toggles here. You've got all of your games or your concerts or your performances. And directly from this campaign, email campaign, your fans will be able to purchase tickets. On the back end, uh, we provide you, once that email campaign has been sent, we provide you with the opens and closes rates, the opt-ins and opt-outs. And even better is, is you'll see a clear understanding of how many tickets were purchased based on that campaign and what that revenue stream is to you. So now that we've gone through um, some of our pieces and parts and how you would create and uh, be able to utilize some of these tools that um, Joe's talked about earlier, let's take a look at some of the back end stuff like through our um, box office um, and some of the different tools that you have the ability to be able to utilize in the box office. And especially when you're talking arenas and sports, um, think tools that can be used. So I'm going to just quickly buy tickets uh, to one of my games. I'm going to just pull from my seat map because I'm more of a visual than going by section. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick up a couple quick seats. I'm going to add these to my basket and I'm going to attach myself as a patron. So there's two tools that you have the ability to utilize in the box office that might prove to be, you know, something that's um, exciting on, on your side. Um, I'm going to, let's see. I'll do a continue. And I'm just going to pay for this in cash. What you're going to see down here is what we call a salesperson. Um, in the sports world, uh, many sports teams have um, employees that their job is to uh, bring in new season ticket holders or um, on the reverse side to maintain or to renew those season ticket holders. Um, built right in with our system, we've got a salesperson um, with a commission type rate associated with them. So you can create on the back end different salespeople, and then you can create different commissionable rates. So maybe Drew um, has sold this new season pass. And on the back end, you're gonna also determine what that percentage is. And the system has reporting on the back end that's going to show you that Drew sold this particular ticket or sold this particular season or renewed this particular season and what that percentage is. Um, and then again, like I said, it's, it's all integrated within the tool. Um, the salesperson follows this order so that if you are um, commissioning um, any of your salespeople, and then you go into a rollover season. We here at um, Accessor Showwear, we will roll over all of your season tickets. And Drew's name for that, for that new season pass would roll with it. So that you would have the ability to be able to uh, keep Drew with that particular account or um, move Drew from that new sales into a renewal role. So um, again, all integrated within the solution makes it super simple for you and you're not having to maybe do Excel spreadsheets or another system outside of the Accessor Shower platform. And we'll go ahead and we'll just place this order. So again, box office sales, a lot of different things that you have the ability to do. So now that we've looked on the back end of things, let's just kind of look on the front side of things and how this will now look to your to, to your fans um, as they're going through that online sale. Again, totally uh, the experience that you want to be able to portray to them. So let's go ahead and we'll buy hockey tickets. Um, and we'll buy tickets to the same game that we, we looked at on the back end. Um, we talked a, a little bit about the event level, so the ability to incorporate some banners, the ability to incorporate more verbiage or more, um, more visuals, imagery. Uh, this is another upsell. This game happens to be part of my package as well as part of my bundle. And um, 
the bundle in the showware platform means that you're allowing your fans the ability to be able to pick from specific a list of specific games to create their own mini plan or mini package um, and allow them to be able to go to just the games that they want to. Maybe they're not interested in going to the full season games, but they want to be able to pick 10 of their favorites. I've incorporated a calendar. I want to go to the 12th because that was the game that we talked about on the back end. And the first thing to show off is that the messaging for our Visa presale is front and center. Um, again, HTML. So if you want this Visa presale is happening now in purple or red or green or orange, whatever, and bolded, you have the ability to do so. We can go ahead and buy tickets and again see the image or the messaging follows. I can do a quick pick. I can pick my own seats. Now pick a couple seats here. It doesn't like my mouse. And we'll reserve these tickets. We're at our shopping cart. Um, on the back end under our marketing tab, we talked a little bit about that upsell or cross sell, make it a short walk by purchasing those VIB parking tickets now. And if I click on buy now, I do have the ability to be able to buy a parking pass along with my tickets. So I no longer have to wait in the line and I can park in a better spot. We talked a little bit about coupons. My price point is $60. If I enter in my coupon and unlock that pricing, it's going to automatically populate those $5 off coupons for me. And also keep in mind, if I tried to put more in my basket at that two patron availability, it would throw an error, letting me know that I could not do that. So I've got my two tickets, I've got my parking pass, and I can proceed to my checkout. Certainly, we can create a new account and go through the entire um, scenario of filling and creating a new account. If I know I'm not coming to another game, I have the ability as a guest to check out. What's important for you to know is that you're still capturing that email and name and address, so you still have the ability to be able to mark it. Or I have the ability to be able to sign in as a user and be recognized as a returning patron. Our secure checkout literally is one, two, three. Our shopping cart is always displayed on the right-hand side, providing me with all of my information, including my tickets and my parking pass. I can choose whichever delivery method I want that's going to make my life a little easier. And in my case, I want print at home. My payment, again, you only can do, because this is a Visa pre-sale, I can only use Visa if I tried to put in MasterCard or discover, it would invoke a message. And then I complete my order. Now I know with arenas, maybe um, because it's normal, you're not normally not a 501c3, um, but we do have um, a donation module that's completely integrated within our solution. And part of that model or module is um, a roundup. Um, a roundup can be used. Um, in my case, I said, you know, do, you know, we need a new scoreboard. So every penny helps. Um, you can bring money back into the arena, or you have the ability to be able to work with outside organizations to help them achieve their goals. So if it's October and you want to help raise money for breast cancer awareness, you can create a donation campaign and turn it on um, here at the, at the end of the sale uh, to be able to ask for money for that particular organization. So again, keeping it in the arena or utilizing it to help others, this is a great way to be able to um, bring more money in, um, help others. And what we're finding out too, um, remarkably, is that um, it's not usually the, the cents, it's not usually the 50 and 75 cents. What we're finding out from a lot of our clients that are utilizing this functionality is that um, they're getting for $5 
uh, for donations from each one of the patrons that do decide uh, to, um, to donate uh, for the roundup. I'm $125, I can certainly round up to the next dollar, which is a dollar. Or you have the ability to um, add um, other amounts. And other amounts just means that you're just making other suggestions uh, during the final part of the sale uh, in hopes that they'll help you maintain or reach your goal or help you help somebody else reach their goal. And we'll go ahead and we will place our order. Now each order, um, regardless of box office or, or online, is gonna have a confirmation sheet. So if I go to my email everything here is going to be completely branded to you so obviously it's going to have your imagery your colors your logos etc my order number i asked for printed home but printed home will automatically provide me with mobile tickets as well we talked a little bit about apple wallet so right here at the confirmation i have the ability to add these tickets and my parking pass to the Apple Wallet so that I have the ability to go to your venue and have those scanned. Our HTML ticket, which you create, is going to have your imagery, the ticket, it's gonna have both the 2D barcode as well as that 16 digit barcode. And then the mobile tickets would just come through with your 2D barcode as well. So if I look at my mobile tickets got my parking ticket we've got my two game tickets and you're going to see here where it says email tickets we do give you the ability to be able to email a ticket or multiple tickets to somebody else so that they can come into the game um, maybe a little later or a little earlier than you have the ability to get there Joe talked a lot about responsive design. Um, and it's so important this, you know, right now to be able to be responsive design and allow your patrons the ability to be able to buy right from their smartphone or right from their tablet or their um, iPad. So um, this is pretty close to an iPhone. You can see that I can buy tickets immediately. I can select my day or purchase a package. I'll buy my tickets and I'm just going through the same scenario that I just showed you. This time I'll just use a quick pick. It'll bring me to my shopping cart. I can utilize my coupons or if I don't have a coupon, I can proceed to my checkout and again, just finalize. Um, so it's important to know that with responsive design, if you don't have it now, you need to make sure that it's incorporated. And again, you know, here's our iPad size. So everything is completely um, mimics and responds to whatever I am using um, as far as you know, trying to buy certain tickets. So with that, I hope all of this information helps you be able to walk away and be able to incorporate some new tools uh, within uh, your facilities. I'm going to send this back to Joe and we'll finalize this webinar. Thanks, Missy. Uh, great job on the demo. And uh, during today's webinar, we covered a lot of ground, and I hope you're able to walk away with a better understanding of how we can help you execute a great fan experience using the Accesso Showware platform. I encourage you to reach out to your customer service manager or your sales director if you have further questions or would like a personalized demonstration on anything we covered uh, or may not have covered today. At the end of the day, we are your partner, and we only succeed when you do. Again, innovation is at the heart of the entire Accesso product line. At Accesso, we're not just a team of programmers or web developers who happen to cater to venues. We are attractions, live entertainment, and cultural arts executives, marketers, operators, and developers who have experience in world-class solutions to address specific needs, these specific needs of your industry. At this time, we'd like to open the floor to any questions. And again, if you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and type them into the uh, question box in your meeting console, and we can uh, take those in real time. And Val, do we have any questions? Thanks, Joe. Yes, we do. Our first question today is, within the dynamic pricing tool, 
is there a limit to the number of pricing rules that can be run at any one time? I'll grab this one, Joe. Um, okay. So um, as I mentioned, going through the demo, you have two ways to utilize the dynamic pricing. Um, that's either going to be date driven or threshold or, or you know, by percentages and total number of tickets. So um, the first off, it has to be either or. The system isn't going to allow you to do date plus threshold. So you'd have to make a choice of what, which way you're going to do. But once you've decided if it's going to be the date or threshold, then you can create as many as you want. Great, thanks, Missy. Um, our second question is also about dynamic pricing. And the question is, are there any fees associated for using the dynamic pricing tools? Uh, there are not uh, any additional fees to use the dynamic pricing tool. Um, everything's included as part of the base uh, XSO showware system. Great, thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Our next question is, are there any additional fees associated with using the EMMA email integration tool? Um, I'll take that one too, Missy. Um, it's it's required that you have an account with Emma uh, to use the integrated email marketing feature. And during implementation, your CSM will make an introduction to an Emma account manager, and they'll look at your specific needs. Wonderful, thank you. And our last question today is in regards to mobile ticketing. And the question is, will I need an app to be able to offer mobile ticketing with Excesso Showware? Missy, you want to? Take that one. Yeah, I, I've got that. Um, so within Accessible Showware, you know, we don't require apps. So our responsive design tool will um, will work with any um, platform that you're trying to purchase tickets on. Um, but if your uh, venue does do an app or does require an app, then we will work with you uh, to create that app or to work with your current app. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Val. Um, if, if you do have any other questions, again, please reach out uh, to any of us or your customer service manager or sales rep, and we'll uh, get those handled for you. Um, Want to thank you very much for your time in attending our webinar today. Um, you'll receive an email tomorrow with a link to access the webinar recording, and stay tuned for our next webinar to be announced soon. I want to thank everyone for joining us during this holiday week, and uh, everybody have a great day.